homes can do an awful lot to uh, support people to both access local communities and to build relationships with their local communities so that it's a safe and welcoming environment. Making that effort to build a connection uh, that encourages people to feel comfortable um, is, is really valuable. It's exceptionally important for people within a care home to feel that there is still an outside world, still a community out there. Um, otherwise you can become quite isolated or feel isolated. So it's about that connection. So it's um, not only watching the news on television, for instance, but discussing that news, having access to newspapers, um, having people coming in from the outside, not just to talk about or, or to have entertainment, but to talk about events. If we have um, care groups within the community that perhaps don't have places to meet Alzheimer's Society, Parkinson's Society, we can perhaps offer opportunities for those people in that group who don't need to be in a care environment at the moment, but just need some support. Once in a while, we can offer perhaps coffee mornings to come in to us, but also for our, um, our residents to meet with them um, and to offer them support. So it, that can be a mutually beneficial thing. People from the outside are coming in, new people to talk to, and also people coming in to prove that being in a care home isn't the end. It can be the beginning of a new chapter in life. We have two local schools that come and visit in term time um, and spend time with the residents. So the local JAG school, James Elaine School, um, come and they, the girls do kind of nail care and art activities. And we have a group of boys come from Dulwich College and they um, tend to talk more, uh, more in, uh, will spend time showing uh, things on their iPads and um, doing quizzes and um, interacting in that way. And we have one resident who is very, very skilled in Scrabble. And some of the boys from Dulwich are from China. And so he will spend time playing Scrabble with them and teaching them obscure Scrabble competition type scores and they, they have great fun with him. It's hard to overestimate the impact that uh, uh, bringing children for instance into a home can have both on the children and their families uh, but particularly for the residents in homes. You have to see it to understand the emotional impact that it can have, how it brings people to life uh, and how it can uh, break down some of those bar barriers that exist uh, between generations. Um, it's such an easy thing to do and such a powerful thing to do that we would encourage everyone to, to try and develop stronger links with their local communities. We have a school that comes here and performs plays at Christmas time for us and sings for us. So that's really good because children get to interact with elderly people. Perhaps they haven't got grandmothers or grandfathers of their own. But our client group react very, very well and very positively to children. It brightens their day. It brings back memories of, of children, their own children when they were little. So that helps with, with that aspect. Sometimes the girls will go to the hairdressers and have their hair done. But obviously, if we have a beauty group, they have their nails manicured and they have their hair groomed and they look nice, you know. So we know how it is for us to look nice when we go out. So there we sort of try to filter that down to, to the girls. Some of the men like to have their nails done as well, but um, we do do that for them as well. But we don't put nail varnish on them. 